spill some tea bitch i've been wanting to spill this tea for so fucking long he's canceled now so i really don't give a fuck about sharing this tea so a couple years ago i won beauty influencer of the year by people's choice awards that was the same year that david motherfucking dobrik who won content creator of the fucking year whatever and they literally said our names back to back from each other when they when we won right i went to his table to show my friends my award and this motherfucking white bitch goes up to me and he's like I wasn't even talking to him and he just goes up to me and he's like, who are you? What do you do? What did you win? Bitch, who the fuck am I? What the fuck did I win? And what the fuck do I fucking do, bitch? First of all, I don't fucking owe you an explanation. And second of all, they literally said our names and category right after the fuck each other. So I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. And literally the day before my... Literally the day before I won my award job, my dad died. Y'all know this story. And so the whole time I was literally just standing by their table. Like, yeah, nobody has ever made me feel... S no one has ever shed it on me and made me feel so irrelevant. All in one fucking night. I was like, oh my god, this bitch is really out here. Like, what? Like, bitch, the fuck? And then come to find out, two years later... Content creator of the year, girl, please, please. So all I have to say after two years is, Mr. David, who are you? What do you do? What did you win? Yeah, this is the award that I won. For those of you who wanted to see it, um, I like to think I earned it. Um, I didn't have to step on anyone's toes. I did not have to force and abuse anyone for content to get this. So I feel good. I feel very like an honest content creator i would say and speaking of honesty i just wanted to say sorry for saying that um white people I, I think i just was really heated at the moment but i did not mean to say that all white people steal content obviously it, that's not the case but the ones that i have come across and the ones that do get the credits hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a really good night so far if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do tea videos, we do vlogs, we do story times. We have a lot of fun on this channel, me and my fake ass Gucci hat. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would help me so much. I'm trying to get to 12K. Help a small creator out, bitch. But um, as you can see, we are not in my usual um, space. Usually we're dressed up and we have a nice time, but... Girl, I just got my vaccine, my second vaccine shot, and I'm a little bit out of it, okay? So we are currently in my living room where I cannot move, okay? <laughs> so I'm, but like I always say, bitch, on my channel, you will always get the tea no matter what I'm doing. So anyways, long enough intro, sorry about that. So as you guys just saw, Bretman Rock went all the way in. And let me just tell you guys something, Bretman Rock... He usually just stays to himself. He's skateboarding, he's surfing, he's building things, he's growing plants, he's smoking weed, he's <coughs> he's testing out coconut waters, he's testing out bitch, he, he he's like Bill Nye the Science motherfucking guy, but like sexy. Um so he usually never gets into like drama and stuff, so I'm very, very um not shocked, but, like, very impressed with him standing up for himself. Um, You know, here's the thing, you guys. I live in Hollywood, and I have seen the behavior of a lot of your favorite social media stars or even celebrities who think that just because they have power, just because they have money, just because, you know, they have, you know, all of that, that they can treat others like utter shit. I've seen it happen. I I have been a victim to it. And to be very honest, you guys, I just feel like on this earth, we are all the same, okay? Doesn't matter money, power, whatever, karma, the universe, God, it will get us. And God, universe, karma, whatever you believe in, don't like ugly. So when you treat others like shit, just expect not the best things to happen to you. What Bretman said towards the end, I just honestly, I felt so bad for him when he said he's never felt so, you know, I don't know exactly the words he said, but he's never felt so less than he's never felt so, you know, irrelevant or whatever. And 
there is definitely a popular kid, you know, a popular table throughout your life. A table where, you know, it's like when you're in school, the popular kids um, who, you know, sometimes will accept you and sometimes, you know, they turn your life into an, a nightmare. Um, and it happens as an adult as well. And even in, you know, even in office jobs and whatever jobs, there's always that popular people group that you want to fit into. But as you grow older, you realize that, girl, you do not want to fit into a group that does not love and appreciate what you bring to the table. Because what you bring to the table is unique. It's one of a kind. And honey, if they don't appreciate it, girl, then they have no taste. Okay. So, you know, I, I feel for him, but you know what they say, honey, the ones that get the last laugh win. And what he said towards the end, girl, who are you? What are you doing here? What, what, all of these questions that he very, very shady asked David Dobrik now that he's canceled. And girl, when he said, I didn't have to mentally abuse or physically abuse anyone to get to where I am, girl. Woo, that set me off, honey. I was like, damn. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's diff it's, it's weird to see him in that sort of, uh, air because he, you know, he's not really that type of to get into drum, you know, like the other ones in LA, um, they do. But, um, but yeah, you guys, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. I am proud of him for saying his truth. Oh my God, my hand is shaking, you guys. Um, I'm proud of him for, for, for saying his truth. Sometimes you have to kind of air out what you've been holding in um, to to move on. And maybe this is something that um, he really, really has felt in his heart that really bothered him. And you know what? Now that he's saying it, then it's okay. Um, but yeah, anyways, you guys, um, I'm going to get some rest now, but I love you all so much. I already made like three, four other videos today, so you guys can go see those and I'll be back tomorrow and have a beautiful night. Thank you so much. And bitch, don't forget to drink water because I know a lot of you guys have not had any water today. Yes, I'm looking at you, you right here, right here. You have not had water today. Okay. Now I know my tea is good and that it's going to hydrate you, but bitch, you need water too. Okay. But anyways, girl, my hand is shaking. I got to go. I love you all so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.